All right. I'm going to do this. All right? Somebody, somebody needs to be the, the voice of reason here. All right? I am... There's a certain movie that everybody is wrong about, and... All right, I'm just going to say it, all right? If you want to leave negative comments or tell me I'm an asshole or die of AIDS, whatever. I don't fucking care. But somebody needs to say this. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, Lord of the Jimmy, did not like the Dark Knight. Let me repeat that. I did not like the Dark Knight. Not the Dark Knight Rises, the Dark Knight, the 2008 movie, the one with Heath Ledger as the Joker. Didn't like it. I don't like that movie. Is it the worst movie ever made? No. But you know what? So many freaking people think it's like this incredible work of art. It is not! I'm just Okay. Let me backtrack here for a second. I am a Batman fan. I like Batman. I, of course, grew up watching the animated series, as many people did uh, who grew up in the, the late 80s, early 90s. Um, I remember seeing the very first Tim Burton Batman, and I should admit, I am a huge Jack Nicholson fan, so... I guess I am biased in that regard. I do really like Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Um, the first Batman movie, the 89 Batman movie, it's not the greatest movie of all time, but it's fun. I enjoy it. And I mean, Jack Nicholson's performance goes a really long way, and he was easily one of the best villains in a comic book movie. I mean, it's Jack Nicholson. How can, you know... Um, the rest of the Batman movies up to the Christian Bale era are... Uh, I don't know, they're kind of a mixed bag. I really don't like uh, Batman Returns. I haven't seen it in a while. I haven't seen Batman Forever in a long time. I liked it when I was a kid, but, you know, when you're a kid, you like all flashy things. And um, Batman and Robin, well, we all know what that was like. Um, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather watch Mr. Freeze than this stupid... Arnold is Mr. Freeze in the stupid Dark Knight movie. Anyway, but I want to make this clear. I liked Batman Begins. I did like Batman Begins because I liked uh, I liked the story. I liked seeing Batman, how his origins and really exploring all that. I really liked that aspect of it. And I like where they went with it. I liked the Liam Neeson character. Um, I liked, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Katie Holmes as uh, Rachel. I thought she was good. Um, you had Tom Wilkinson. Tom Wilkinson is always great. Um... I liked uh, Michael Caine as uh, Alfred, who still can only say more. He cannot say more than a few words at a time. And, of course, you got Morgan Freeman, and I don't know why Morgan Freeman sounds like Cleveland, but that's all I can do. So, you either get busy impersonating or you get busy dying. Um, I will admit... Not the biggest Christian Bale fan as Batman. I like Christian Bale, but as Batman, as Bruce Wayne, I don't know. Some about him just doesn't do it for me. I mean, Michael Keaton wasn't exactly the greatest Batman of all time, but there was a quirkiness to him, something where you believed, yeah, he's Bruce Wayne and he's been through some shit. Um, I don't know. Uh, Christian Bale, he's just a little too unemotional, and I know his parents died, and that's kind of his character, but... Felt like he could have done something more interesting with the character. As far as him as Batman, well, first of all, I mean, him looking as Batman, he looks okay. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably so used to seeing Michael Keaton. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, that fucking voice. Come on. That. How can you take this movie so fucking seriously when the protagonist has that stupid voice? I mean, get... Everybody has made fun of this voice. I mean, have you seen those college humor videos? I mean, fuck. I mean, it's just like, how can you take a movie seriously when the main character is always talking like this? 
I mean, Jesus Christ, sounds like he's gonna fucking hurl all the time. Even at the end of... Well, I'll get to that later. Yeah, I, I, I don't notice it as much in Batman Begins, but... I'll talk about that in a second. Um, what I did... Again, I like Batman Begins, and I like the ending to Batman Begins. I like how... Um, it resolves, and it's like, okay, now we're back into the Batman saga. And I like how they have, like, he left his, the Joker left his card, and it's the, uh, you know, Joker from a regular playing card deck. And I'm like, oh, great, now we're caught up. And that's a great sort of prequel to the very first 89 Batman movie. And I thought, cool, I liked that movie, great. Then I heard they were going to make a sequel out of it, and, um, they were going to use the Joker. Okay. But, you know, not against it. Hey, you know what? I liked Mark Hamill's Joker, like Cesar Romero's Joker. Maybe they'll make it work. No! They got... <sighs> God! I can't remember his name. Heath Ledger. Yes. Heath Ledger as the Joker. Let me tell you something. Heath Ledger, God rest his soul, is the most overrated actor ever. I mean, that fucking Brokeback Mountain movie. Oh my God, that's another overrated movie. And I don't give a shit about the whole gay plot. You know, it's like, I know everybody was up in arms about it, not winning an Academy Award. Oh, because Hollywood doesn't like gay. But no, fuck that. It was a bad movie because it was fucking boring. I mean, honestly... The, the, the gay scenes are the only thing I can remember from the fucking movie. Everything else is just like, uh, Heath Ledger. God, everything he was in was in that stupid Patriot movie with Kathleen. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk about him as the Joker later. I'm already seven minutes in this review. I haven't even talked about the movie. Okay. Spoiler alert for The Dark Knight. For the... Two of you who don't know the fucking movie. Everybody's seen it by now. Ugh, God. Okay. Let me give you a little overview. Like I said, I don't like the movie. Now, when I saw it, I didn't hate it intensely. I just didn't get what the deal was. I was like, you know, this is a very disappointing follow-up to an otherwise very good movie, Batman Begins. And I didn't really think of it. And then it just... It exploded. It became this huge, unstoppable thing. And people were like, Oh, this deserves an Academy Award. A fucking Academy Award? For what? For sucking? I and mean, oh, let's give fucking, you know, it's like, okay, I knew everybody was going to go fucking crazy over the movie after Heath Ledger died. And, I was, you know, it was a sad thing. It's sad whenever somebody dies. And like I say, you know, God rest he's Heath Ledger, so I don't believe in God. But anyway, you know, Heath Ledger, whatever, you know, that, doesn't, that didn't mean that he automatically gave a great performance because he's dead, uh, which I'm sure had everything to do with the movie getting so much praise. But... I can't speculate. Okay, let's just talk about the movie. Okay, spoiler alerts. Everybody knows this fucking movie, so let's go ahead. Okay, so we begin in the movie with a bank heist, which is a regular comic book opening. That's fine. You know, kind of reminds me of uh, the, the Adam West show, you know. And now we're at the Gotham City Bank. A masked clown is uh, trying to take over the bank in Gotham. Who will stop him? Fuck you. Um, okay, so it's fine. So what happens at the bank heist? Well, the Joker steals money. Fine. And he kills everybody he works for. Why does he kill everybody working with him on the job? I mean, I know why. He's trying to keep the money and everything, but... Why doesn't he keep them around? Like, if he needs to do other jobs. Because clearly in this movie, he has a lot to do. He's doing all this shit all over the city. Clearly he has help. He can't do this by himself. He even has people helping him. Why does he kill everybody who's working for him? Okay, and don't give me the whole bullshit that he's crazy or whatever. It's just, here's the other thing. Even if he does kill everybody because he figures he doesn't need them, 
Who's going to work with him after that? I mean, you really... Okay, here's an example. Hey, Joe, um... Hey, you, I know you're looking for a job, right? Oh, yeah, Bob, uh, I really am looking for a job. Well, listen, I got a great job for you. Um, you're going to be working with the Joker. Oh, the Joker? Is he funny? Uh, no. Uh, but you know what? The pay? Unbelievable. Really good pay. Uh, good dental plan, too. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, you're going to love him. Um, there's just one catch. Um, like I said, it's, it's great pay, but, um... He tends to kill everybody uh, who works for him. Oh. What? But like I said, pay, unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, okay, it's not the biggest deal. So then, uh, let's get through this. Okay, the Joker uh, drives his school bus out, which for some reason aligns perfectly with all these other school buses with fucking dust and debris falling off of it and none of the fucking cops notice this as they're going in i oh the cops don't even why are cops always so stupid in these movies i mean at least in the avengers movie they were semi-intelligent you know they were working with them i mean uh, look let me explain one of the big nitpicks i have with this movie one of the big problems they're really trying to, the pretentiousness of this movie is that they're trying to make it like it's a realistic movie. Like this could really happen. Like some guy with a billion dollars would really dress up like a fucking bat and go saving crime. Yeah, like that would fucking happen. Um, and some fucking guy who walks around with clown makeup on all the time, and even if he does put some makeup on to not have it, he's still got these weird fucking shadows on his face. It's like nobody could, is fucking noticing this guy? Okay, whatever. But again, they're trying to pass it off like it's a, like it's a real movie, like it's real, and it's, it's a fucking comic book! I mean, Jesus Christ! This isn't the fucking Hurt Locker, okay? It's a, it's Batman! How can you take this seriously? It's based on a comic book! It had a show in the 60s with Adam West! As the movie continues, we get, um, what is it? Maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes with the Scarecrow from the first movie, and then we never see him again. Yeah, what was the point of that? You know, at least in The Dark Knight Rises, it was done more like a cameo, and it was kind of funny to uh, see what's-his-name again. But here, it's like, okay, that's it? He's there? The, the whole thing was that he was uh, he got away in the first movie, and now he's there, and they catch him, and that's it? We never see him again? There's also a whole bunch of guys dressed up as Batman. I don't know why, you know, I haven't seen this movie in a while, so, um, you know, I'm really basing this all off of memory, not that it fucking matters, it's such a stupid fucking movie anyway, and then Batman shows up with a, a gun barrel bending thing, that's straight out of Adam West, I mean, really, you're really trying to pass this off as a serious movie when you've got a fucking guy dressed as a bat bending a gun? How does that even work? And then his fucking Batmobile, which is fine, I don't give a shit, Batmobile comes up through the parking garage on like the fifth floor or whatever. How did it get on? How did it get up there? I, I, did it fly? I, I mean, if you have a building Here's the building. Here's the edge of the building. Your car is down here. How does it get up here? Comic book logic would say, whatever, it's a comic book. Who fucking cares? But no, we're in a realistic movie. And it's not even fucking Gotham City. It looks like fucking New York. In fact, I remember going to see The Dark Knight Rises with my girlfriend. And at some point, there was a, a helicopter shot of... Um, 
uh, Gotham City, which actually looked like a city in Batman Begins. And as we were looking at the overhead shot, she said, Hey, there's my office. Jesus Christ. All right, but anyway, uh, Batman beats everybody up. He crushes a car somehow with his feet. If I keep nitpicking every little part of this movie, we're going to be here a long time. And then we later on see Bruce Wayne and his regular boring self. And Rachel. Katie Holmes isn't Rachel in this movie. You all know that. It's, uh, well, speaking of uh, somebody related to uh, Jake Gyllenhaal from Brokeback Mountain, we've got Maggie Gyllenhaal. I'm not a fan. I mean, I liked her in uh, the Jeff Bridges movie, Crazy Heart. She was all right in that, but yeah, not a fan. Kind of a huge, it's like when Jodie Foster was replaced by Julianne Moore in Hannibal. All right, but whatever, we'll get through. We'll get to Rachel later. Now, I do want to talk about somebody who I think does do a very good job in this movie, and that is Aaron Eckhart as Two-Face. Now, as much as I'm complaining about all the other characters, I like Aaron Eckhart as Two-Face. I think he's probably the most interesting character in the movie because he wants to do good, but he also wants to be kind of... He's got, a, got this little bit of a badass quality. You know, he used to be a cop. I think he used to be a cop. But I think Aaron Eckhart, who's a really great, great actor, I think he does a really good job with this performance. And I'm going, oh, he's Harvey Dent. Oh, well, this will be cool. All right, I can't wait to see what they do with this character. Oh, boy, am I going to be disappointed. Anyway, so then we get that famous scene, which now has become very famous, with Heath Ledger as the Joker, really, you know, the whole, like, uh, let's do a magic trick. I'm going to make this pencil disappear. Ta-da! It's gone. We'll get through the logistics of uh, that pencil later. Um, let's talk about Heath Ledger's performance. Now, even people who don't like The Dark Knight, and there are people who don't like The Dark Knight, they still say, oh, but Heath Ledger was great. <sighs> no, he wasn't. Was he terrible? It wasn't terrible, but it didn't do anything for me. I, I don't get it. What is so great about this performance? I mean, it's like, first of all, the thing I liked about the Joker and all the previous incarnations of Batman is the, um, just how different he was from Batman. Because Batman is this dark, brooding hero and his archenemy, the Joker, is really this very lighthearted, um, you know, kind of funny character. Even though I know he's demented, he's crazy, and he's doing these horrible things. But I just like the fact that he's, he's enjoying what's going on. It's like a big game to him. You know, he's having fun with it. Um, you know, he, he kind of reminds the Joker, like Jack Nicholson's Joker, he kind of reminds me of like Iago from Othello, you know. So the Joker's always been a very interesting villain to me. And... The Dark Knight, it's like he's a hes a serial killer. He's a terrorist who just wears this weird makeup. And you know what? It's just, honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of unpleasant to watch because there are people out there like that. And I don't know. It's just, he's not funny. Okay, maybe he has like one or two funny moments that are pretty good. But, uh, I mean... I just felt like you could have done so much with this character and they just took all the, you know, the excitement and, you know, like, I, I know this sounds weird to say likability, you're not really supposed to like him, but you, I mean, in Jack Nicholson's case, I mean, Jack Nicholson, you, you just can't take your eyes off him, he's just so, I know he's over the top, but it's in a fun way. You enjoy watching this character the whole way, you know, after he shoots the Jack Palance character, she's like, oh, what a day. Gotham City. Wait till they get a load of me. <sighs> you know, I, I think people forget just how, how, how big that movie was and how, how much they talked about 
Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Just, Heath Ledger, I don't get it. I just, what is so great about him? I remember when the Nostalgia Critic talked about the movie, he talked about how scary the Joker was. And one of the big things he talked about is the video he makes where, I don't know, he's like saying he's going to kill Bat, unless Batman turns himself in, he's going to kill people. And I guess it's scary because the whole time he's got a freaking camera and he's all like this. All right, um, I want uh, the Batman to, um, to turn himself in. Otherwise, uh, people will die. As you can tell, I've been watching uh, The Blair Witch Project uh, quite a lot. It's a really good movie. I think you should all watch it. And um, I also, I love The Office, too. That's a good movie. Well, that's not really a movie. It's a, a TV show. I've been smoking a lot of dope lately. By the way, this is my apartment. Uh, it's kind of cool. You know, I got posters. Uh, you can see uh, Snoopy right there. And I got some cool speakers. And, uh, yeah. And uh, this is my keyboard. Yeah, I play on it. And uh, uh, this is Ursula Andress. Um, I'll tell you a story about that calendar another day, but, um, yeah, um, I'm chewing gum, by the way, uh, that's why I, um, keep making those, um, sounds, it's kind of annoying, but anyway, yes, so, yeah, woo, scary, like, I haven't seen that a million fucking times in a bunch of other fucking movies, <sighs> okay, so, yeah, uh, I guess, I mean, to be honest with you, the first half of the movie isn't that bad. I mean, and then, I don't know, he like goes to China or something and he flies off of a roof with like a, like a jet glider or something. I don't fucking know. And, um... Yeah, apparently he's killing a bunch of people, and he's still dressed like the Joker. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, weird. Um, uh, I, I don't even know where I am at this point. Uh, let me just get to, okay, a bunch of stuff happens, and apparently we think that Commissioner Gordon is dead, and he's not, I don't know, and then we get this, um, thrilling tank, or chase sequence, in the dark, with explosions, and guns, and rockets, and Batman on a jet, or whatever, I'm not wearing hockey pants! I'm not wearing hockey pants, is it? I, 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 I don't know how to respond to that. All right, um, yeah, uh, the, uh, chase sequence I don't know I don't really remember it and everybody tells me how fucking great it is I mean it's not Terminator 2 I don't know I mean it's like generic it's gen to me the action sequences are these just generic close-ups so everything's a fucking close-up bam 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 so you can't fucking see anything and cutting all the time. It looks like a fucking Michael Bay movie. And uh, then the whole scene where, like, Joker's just shooting something for no reason and Batman can easily hit this guy who is killing people. Doesn't necessarily have to kill him. Like, did anybody see that how it should have ended with the Dark Knight where he does hit him and he's in the fucking hospital for the rest of the time? Yeah. Um... Commissioner Gordon pops up, and then we get um, our other famous sequence where Batman goes and interrogates the Joker. <sighs> Jesus Christ. 
Troopers. <sighs> Let me put it to you this way. So you're the Batman. You want to be a Batman? Where you want to be a Where you want to You know, you're just a freak. Like me. Wait a minute. Are you chewing gum? No. Give it to me. No, it's, it's my gum. I, I don't have to joke. Right, jeez. Yeah. I mean, you can't fucking understand a goddamn word Question Bale is saying. He says, You know, somebody told me the reason he talks like that is because he's famous as a billionaire, so he has to disguise his voice. Yeah, like, like he doesn't sound like every other fucking British or Australian or whatever the fuck Christian Bale is trying to sound American. They all sound the fucking same. Yeah. I hope that Rachel hasn't told you everything. Every fucking British or Australian person sounds like that. Yeah. And... <laughs> Great choice, Christian. Why don't you just pretend you're Christopher Walken? Well, you know, I'm Batman. And, you know... I want to know where uh, Harvey Dent is, and uh, at the risk of sounding redundant, please keep your answers genuine. I mean, that would scare the shit out of me, but that's, uh, I'm writing my own movie now. All right, so here's the big dilemma. Everybody ready for the big dilemma? Rachel is held up in one area. Harvey Dent is held up in another building. And they're really far apart. One's up on like 214th Street. One's downtown. Ooh. Yeah. So you... Hey, everybody downtown. Harvey is in this building. Can you guys go over there and get him out? Anybody who's there which there's probably is fucking downtown. There's probably about a million cops down there. And also, uh, Rachel's uptown can some, any units, because it's fucking Harlem, go up there and, uh, you know, get her out of there. Think! Yeah, so Batman goes, he tries to save Rachel, and yeah, ra spoiler alert, Rachel dies because he gets to Harvey Dent instead, who catches half of his face catches on fire. Okay, fine, that's how he becomes Two-Face. Rachel dies. You know, what was the point of even bringing her back if you were just going to kill her in this dumbass way? I mean, oh, and by the way, the Joker escapes. Yeah, big fucking shock. How does he escape? Yeah, apparently he placed a bomb inside the skin of one of his, one of his lackeys? First of all, how would you sneak that into a fucking police station? They have fucking metal scanners! Or they can fucking see that! Oh, and the one cop is taunting him, and he just lets him go. And he's like, I want my phone call. Or I'm going to kill this policeman. Jesus Christ. All right, and uh, Batman's all sad because his girlfriend's dead. Not that it even fucking matters. And, and somehow Harvey, who is now Two-Face... Who, I, I do have to admit, Two-Face looks cool. He does look good. Uh, the way they made Two-Face, that was good. Positive part about the movie. But he just turns evil like that. Because the Joker apparently comes in dressed up as a nurse. Again, like nobody would fucking notice that. I mean... They've got to have fucking police all around if fucking Harvey Dent is there. Because he got, you know, like, kidnapped. Again. 
comic book logic in a movie that's trying not to be like a comic book. I don't fucking know. So, yeah, um, apparently he blows up a hospital where he found time to um, plant bombs in the same hospital that Harvey Dent was in. I don't know. <sighs> but that's besides the point. And I don't even fucking remember what happens after that. Yeah, Harvey Dent starts killing a bunch of people for no fucking reason. You know, and his fucking half of his face is melted off and it's not bothering him. I mean, I can understand if it's been like a year and, you know, obviously it looks like that, but he's adjusted to it somehow. I can understand that, but he just fucking happened. <sighs> meanwhile, meanwhile, in the city of Gotham, um, there's some boats. <sighs> oh, God. All right, two ships. One carrying a bunch of criminals. One carrying people. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know if they're trying to evacuate the island or... I don't know. But, um, apparently, the Joker has placed bombs on these boats. Right. Like, nobody bothered to go in and check and see a bunch of fucking canisters of bombs in a god... When the city's probably on red alert because there's a goddamn maniac on the loose. Yeah, real fucking... Jesus Christ. You know what I forgot to mention... The whole thing with uh, Heath Ledger and the whole, you want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker. Are you trying to be Hannibal Lecter, Ledger? What the fuck are you doing? I have no idea what the fuck he's doing. And, you know, it's like, we don't find out anything about this guy. And, okay, the, oh, we're trying to make him, we don't know about him because he's, uh, he's mysterious or whatever. I don't know. Fucking, fucking fuckers. Yeah, I, I just, I, that gets annoying after a while. Um, except I will admit when he's, uh, using his hair and he's, like, using the kind of, uh, what is this, the knife to kind of comb his hair back. That was kind of funny. That was a good touch. Um, fucking hat. Um, I liked that. Um, though... Yeah, I can't think of anything else. There's maybe one or two other funny lines he has. I like when he's... I do... I will admit... I do have to admit I like when he goes, Let's not blow things out of proportion. Here's my card. It's like maybe five seconds I liked out of the movie. Um, anyway, back to the boats. Yeah. Um, apparently, there's two boats. They each have the detonator. They'll blow up the other boat. Okay, and, um, like, uh, that'll blow up the other boat? I mean, there's police on the, f they can't figure out how to disarm a bomb? I don't know. I'll leave that. But then, probably my most hated moment in the movie comes... On the prison ship. It's big black... And obviously there's, um, you know, all these prisoners and, you know, all the policemen have guns. They're telling them to get back. You know, we're not going to blow up the other ship. This big, scary black guy comes. He's like, Give me the detonator and I'll do what I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> First of all, you're a fucking cop! You have a gun! You're fucking scared of this guy when you have a fucking gun?! Then, the big, scary black guy, who obviously, if he's fucking... If the cop is terrified of him, he must be a bad guy. He must have killed people or something to be scaring a fucking policeman to death. So that he doesn't use a gun. What does he do? He takes the detonator and he throws it out the window. God damn it! What the? 
What? Are you are you fucking high? No! First of all, what if the fucking detonator, like, blew up the ship anyway? And I mean, why would this? It's like, what are you trying to say, Nolan? That, like, the, the city of Gotham, that even these fucking horrible criminals who are scaring the shit out of the cops are, are willing to not... I don't know. Ugh. How much longer is this movie? It's it's a fucking three hour movie. It's fucking God. All right, so Batman somehow gets surveillance equipment, which uh I can't even, I can't remember anything now. This, um, which the Morgan Freeman character is all unhappy about. And he's like, after this, I'm not working for you anymore. And somehow he can see everything in his fucking eyes. I have no idea. What is he, fucking Robocop? And he, more boring fights and he... He has a fight with the Joker that doesn't go anywhere. And I don't know. It's, uh, the ships don't blow up, and I guess it's like, This city just shows you that it's willing to be. Listen, Bruce, um, do you need a throat lozenge? I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, I really can't understand a fucking word you're saying. Yeah, and uh, that's pretty much the last time we see the ledger. I don't know. Um, then the ending. Everybody complains about the stupid ending. Um, Harvey Two Face um, kidnaps Commissioner Gordon's family, and. Um, he is like holding them a gun at them and you know he's gonna kill the boy and then and then uh Batman comes in Harvey you don't wanna hurt the boy You don't give up the gun Nothing good ever came out of the barrel of a gun You're still talking like that We all know you're Bruce Wayne now I mean Jesus Christ why are you talking to him like that? The guy has a to a child! What? It's not about what's what I want. It's about what's fair! God damn it, Aaron Eckhart. I had such high hopes for you. Alright, and then I don't remember what happens. Like, uh, Batman goes after him when he flips the coin, and and uh, he catches the boy. Two Face dies, and, uh, or Harvey dies. Uh, I have no fucking idea. And then, uh, and then uh, the commissioner helps him up. And I guess they're all... I guess they're all worried because of what Two-Face has become. Because he was kind of like... I don't know if he was like the White Knight. He was like um, a soldier for good in Gotham City. And now people are going to realize he was actually a horrible killer. So, what is their solution? Well, you could just say that, um, you know, uh, the Joker, like, uh, was using mind control. I mean, based on all the other bullshit you have in this movie, it doesn't seem very far-fetched. No! Batman says, I killed those people. So, uh, we're gonna blame the thing on me. No, 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 you can't do that. Uh, I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. I'm the hero that city deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Hey, Batman. You've all heard me talk about that line before. 
I still don't know what it means. I really honestly have no idea what that means. I am the hero this city deserves, but not the one it needs right now. I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't, what is the point you're trying to make, Nolan? I mean, really, I don't understand. And nobody has been able to explain this to me. Everybody tries, but I still don't get it. I, I am the hero. That did this. I can't fucking figure it out. What does it mean? Ugh! Jesus Christ. All right, so that's the fucking end of the movie. And then the whole, I don't know, the dogs go after him and Harvey's a hero, the Joker we never fucking hear from again, not even in the next movie. Oh, and it turns out that all the fucking bullshit they said was ridiculous because Bane comes back in the Dark Knight Rises and says, Oh yeah, um, Bruce, uh, Batman didn't actually kill any of those people. Um, Harvey Dent, he killed them. So, yeah. Yeah, your fucking city sucks. I mean... You know, one thing I tend to hear a lot about this movie, it took comic book movies to a new level. What, that they're not fun? That instead now every fucking movie I see, the new James Bond movie and all comic book movies, the new Superman movie and uh, the Star Trek movie and all these fucking movies that are coming out right now, they have to be these dark, brooding, you know, they're really horrible movies and they're tough to take, they're realistic, just like life. You know, if I want to watch fucking Schindler's List, then I'll watch fucking Schindler's List. When I go to see a fucking comic book movie, I don't expect to see Apocalypse Now! I mean... And the fact that people thought this movie should have won an Academy Award, the fact that Heath Ledger won an Academy Award for this fucking movie. For what? Because he died? Because that's the only... I mean... What did he do? I mean, it's... He didn't, he didn't give a bad performance. But he didn't give a good performance. It was just... I don't know what that was. It was just... I don't know what it was. What the fuck was that? <sighs> Look, here's the thing. Comic book movies, and movies in general, are usually out-of-body experiences. They're made to entertain us. Now, I realize there's plenty of movies that don't do that, that do show the harshness of reality. And even entertaining movies, you know, that are based on fiction, that can be very dark in nature. Now, that's fine. But... When you have a movie based on a comic book character, you know, and it's not like, you know, some realistic comic book. I mean, look, it's Batman. Batman, like Batman and Robin. I mean, it's like a fucking billionaire who dresses as a bat and goes crime fighting and is arch enemy dresses as a clown? I mean, how can you make that? I mean, it's fun, it's enjoyable, and I suppose you can find a way to make it semi-realistic, but this movie is just, it's so unpleasant to watch. It's long, it's draining, and it Unlike other movies that are dark and sinister, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't have any resolve. It doesn't, you know, you know, it doesn't say anything about any of these characters or life. It's just, what is the movie trying to say? 
It took comic books to a new level. What level is that? I really don't know. I mean, oh god, there's so many problems with this movie. The acting is terrible. The direction is bad. There's so many continuity errors. There's so many things that don't make sense. But the fact that this movie has just become this phenomenon, it bewilders me. I can't understand it. I, just a while ago, was watching somebody had the top five comic book movies list, and guess what was number one? The Dark Knight. The greatest comic book movie of all time. God, I mean, when I saw The Avengers last year, I thought that was a great movie. I enjoyed it. I Okay, it had its problems. It was a comic book movie. It was ridiculous, but you know what? It was fun to watch. It had characters. It, the way they played off of each other was fun to watch. Uh, the villain, okay, the villain wasn't that great, but, you know... He kind of had a, you know, a funness to him. I mean, a funness is... I can't even speak English anymore after watching, talking about this fucking movie. I liked The Avengers. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I just... And what did I think of The Dark Knight Rises? Um, let me put it to you this way. The Dark Knight Rises, at least, commented on its dumbness. I mean, there's a point when, uh... Bane has all these people, or the cops are talking about it, he's like, where does he get all these people? That was funny! And you know, when uh, Catwoman, uh, Batman's talking, yeah, 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 Batman, and Catwoman just leaves, and he goes, eh, so that's what that feels like. You know, I mean, that was funny, because it's like, finally, they're not taking themselves so seriously anymore. And honestly, I was kind of rooting for The Dark Knight Rises. Until they threw that stupid plot twist at the end. And, you know what? I won't give away, because there might be some people who haven't seen The Dark Knight Rises. Who, by everybody's seen The Dark Knight by now. So I won't give that away, at least. But, yeah. Um, I don't get it. I really don't. Maybe some of you can explain it to me. There's a comment section down there. If you want to prove to me how wrong I am, because... Everybody seems to love this movie, so obviously I'm dumb and everybody else is... No, actually it's the opposite. I'm right! All of you are wrong! You are wrong! All of you! Alright? And I don't give a shit if I'm one of the only people who thinks that the Dark Knight sucks. But you know what? It fucking sucks! Stupid movie! Seriously. Why don't you all learn about fucking good cinema? And everybody stop fucking trying to recreate this goddamn movie! God! Like, every fucking movie now has to be like The Dark Knight. Okay. I have ranted about this movie for too long. I'm done. Where's my fucking hat? Alright. This has been Lord of the Jimmy and Lord of the Jimmy's rants. And I was just talking about The Dark Knight. There you go. You want to tell me I'm wrong? Comment section below. Say whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. Stupid fucking movie. God damn it! Oh, and uh, make sure you subscribe.